here at three, the Suncoast Polytech High School robotics team has been building robots and winning competitions together since sixth grade. Now they're seniors and preparing for the toughest challenge yet, the World Championship in Dallas this weekend. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd met with them as they make their last minute preps. They call themselves the Blackout Robotics Team. They're sort of like the Ninja Turtles of engineering at Polytech High. They even have a Raphael. Everybody knows who the four are. You're the guys with the robots. Uh, yeah, we're the one with the robots. You know, everybody talks about us. We all have our niche and we all adapt to what roles need to be uh, completed. Cannon does the designing, Quinn does the programming, Raphael does the building, and Armand does the driving. How long does it take to build one of these robots? <sighs> Months. It takes a very long time. And they've been building bots together since sixth grade. Cannon's living room has been turned into their personal workshop. It's kind of fun. It's like a everlasting sleepover with my best friends and we're working on robotics. It's all our favorite thing to do. Do you guys ever butt heads on anything? Like I want the robot to do this or I want the robot to do that. Oh my God. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I mean, without those headbutts, you know, we, we wouldn't go anywhere. But what they can all agree on is they want to be the best. Over the years, they've racked up more than 60 awards, including state and national titles. I don't think I would do it with any other people. Um, I could do it in college as well, but I don't think it'll be the same. So this weekend marks their final match together and their most challenging, the VEX World Championships in Dallas, where they will compete against 800 teams from around the world. When you build one of these robots, is there like a kit to look at and go step by step, kind of like Legos, or is it all from scratch? I wish. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we have to do it all from scratch. Everyone has access to the same parts, but how you use them is up to each team. The good news for Blackout Robotics, They've been preparing for this since middle school. What would it mean to you to bring that championship, not oh. just home to Florida, but home to America? <laughs> it would it would be amazing. It's it's something that I've dreamed of since I've started robotics and everything. It's we'd be fulfilling our, our the legacy of blackout. It'd be a good close on our chapter. In Sarasota, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.